Hey! There's Naomi! <laughs> Top of the morning to Uno. I just thought I'd take you along with me on my journey to work. My commute to work is about six, six miles, just over six miles. And I have, I have about four or five, four or five different routes that I can take to work to kind of like, um, you know, bit, give it a bit of variation so it's not the same boring mundane route all the time um, and whichever route I take it includes a hill one way or another it just um, depends on the degree of or the gradient rather but I find it interesting doing, doing my commute as opposed to weekend riding I find that I have to be more alert, more attentive, more aware of my surroundings. I don't know, I find people's driving habits during a weekday to be different to that of the, of the weekend. They're in more of a rush, everyone's in more of a rush, there's no patience. Everyone's trying to get somewhere very fast. Or in some cases, nowhere very fast. <clears throat> and um, sometimes my route, my journey rather, passes off with no drama, thankfully. Um, and there are times where I have some really like scary, scary moments. So I'm going to take you along with me today. Hopefully it's an uneventful one in the sense that I can get to work safe. And um, I ride my, my Brompton, also known as Becky. I ride my Brompton to work and I have a, a switch kit. I have the, um, I used to have the, um, the second generation Eco, Eco kit. That was the big, massive black breeze block looking thing, ugly looking thing it was. Um, and then I sold that. Sold that and got the, um, the new switch, the Max, the Air Max kit, which is, looks a lot. It looks a lot um, smaller, a lot slicker. It doesn't look like an eyesore on the bike. But yeah, it's, uh, some of you may be saying, oh, why have you got a switch kit on your bike? Oh, that's cheating or whatever. It's for the simple fact that I can get to work and not feel like I've sweated out and done a gym session. Yes, I still have to pedal, but this gives me a nice assist where I don't have to ex exert as much energy as I would do as if I was on my road bike. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I work for the NHS in the IT department and when I get to work, I like to get to work knowing that I'm, you know, nice, you know, not sweaty, you know, presentable. Um, you know, I'm someone that takes 
you know, pride in how I present myself and how I look. And the last thing I want to do is to rock up to work, sweaty armpits, sweaty face, smelly and looking dishevelled. So that's why I have the, um, the switch, the electric um, aftermarket kit on my bike. Now, I do have showers at work. There's plenty of facilities because um, there's literally thousands of people that ride, ride to work. So they, <clears throat> my hospital do put on some really good facilities for those that cycle to work. But I can't be arcs, man. I like to just shower, shower at home, get ready and everything and then just come to work as normal. Not after like all that malarkey of getting dressed, coming to work and then cycling and and then having to jump in the shower at work again and no, it's, I feel like I have to get dressed twice, it's just wasting time. So, what's the time now? It's five to nine, I'm late. I was supposed to be at work by nine o'clock. Um, I'm not normally late, but I've not been feeling well lately. Been um, feeling, for the last like week or so, I've been feeling really like run down. So I've taken time out. <laughs> from cycling and, and stuff to kind of recover, rest and reset. Now this is interesting, this is straight on my road and normally by this time in the morning there's bumper to bumper traffic. So this is good. I mean, I'm all right because I have the bus lane, but as you go further along where the bus lane disappears, that's when the ducking and weaving starts. Well, this is why I like the, um, why I love riding my Brompton, because it's, it's perfect for that style of riding. You know, dipping in and out of um, cars and it's like the, the acute, angle that it's got for turning and manoeuvring is really really good i love it my switch kit I've got five levels of assist and I normally on this one I only need to really put it on two um, on the other one I used to have it all the way up to like four or five um, but yeah on this I just put it on two because I think it just gives me the right amount of assist so that I'm still putting in a little bit of effort but not enough for me to like start sweating So this is where I normally start. I have to really be extra attentive now as I'm cycling. Because again, this is where the traffic builds up where I have to dip and weave with no um, bus lane. But, oh my gosh, there's no traffic. 
what is going on today? What is going on? That's really unusual. So, I don't know if you saw that, but that van that just turned, that was my fault, yeah. I should have been paying, I'm normally, I normally do pay attention. I should have paid attention to the van and, and noticed that he was indicating. Um, I did notice in the end, but he had like, just started turning, so I had to stop. But yeah, it's little things like that, that you have to be really careful of, because Although he was attentive, not all, not all drivers are like that when it comes to cyclists. Having looked at the footage, I did have second thoughts about who was at fault. Was it me or the van driver? As I'm pulling up to the van, he actually doesn't have his indicator on. He doesn't put it on until the lights change. So was I right to assume he was going to drive straight on or should I have waited behind him? Yeah, this sometimes with these buses stopping and these two lanes can be a bit sketchy. Cars and vans like to close past right at that point there where the buses are. So I normally, and it's strange, but I don't like doing it. I normally have to um, position myself towards the middle of the lane. I'm not going to lie, I am. I do regard myself as a, is it a, curb, is it a curb hugger. I don't know, it's weird, but I just feel a lot safer. There's Naomi! <laughs> oh, fancy that. So that was Naomi. I ride with Naomi. She's part of the uh, cycling club that I'm, that I'm in. TWR Cycling Club. be really careful doing this because maneuvering through traffic like that because there could be um, pedestrians walking between like buses and cars but I must say is it weird that I do like 
driving through traffic, like, you know, ducking and weaving through the cars. I find it quite fun. Now, I find, what I really find odd about these lights is that, as you can see those cars that are turning out from that road on the right, when the, um, the lights has changed red, the road on the other side turns green, but where I am, look, see, so you see that now, where on the other side, they're, they're green. On this side, we have to sit here for a good minute or two, and there's no idea, and I have no idea why. And the thing is, I have to get to the right side of the road to turn right at the next lights. And it's very difficult doing that when the cars are coming at you like really, really fast. Sometimes they have no regard for the fact that I'm trying to get across to the right hand side lane, even though I'm signaling or, or indicating. So sometimes I might cheat and try and guess when the lights are going to change and ride off just before they change so that I can get in front so that I can get onto the right side so look see now I have to try and get to the right side so that I can get these lights right, I made it Fortunately, because there was traffic, it was pretty, pretty easy, but that's not always the case. <clears throat> now, this is Cold Harbour Lane. It's a very long road, actually. It stretches from here, from Brixton, all the way um, through to Camberwell. This restaurant here, oh, I don't know if you can see it, it's called the Chip Shop. Really, really good um, place to go if you like your hip hop music. You get a lot of um, hip hop artists, especially ones from back in the day, that like to perform there. It's a really nice vibe. Do you know what I find um, I've done over the years is I've memorised potholes. So it's kind of like muscle memory knowing where to ride on the road, on, on certain roads where I know that, uh, that there are a lot of potholes. Anyway, I'm here now. <clears throat> that was a pretty uneventful journey to work thankfully uneventful in the sense that I got here safe.